the price is in a strong downtrend every time it made lower highs and lower lows but when the price came near this support line instead of breaking on the downside it took support and went upside even though it is in a strong downtrend in this case the price is in a strong uptrend every time it made higher highs and higher lows but when the price came near the support trend line instead of bouncing on the upside it break the support trend line and it went downside do you know what is the reason behind this this session is divided into four types number 1 components of price action number 2 price acceptance number 3 price rejection number 4 the explanation of all these components of price action on live charts i'm sharing real time live market analysis on my telegram channel on nifty and bank nifty and fin nifty if you are interested join my telegram channel link is in the description I have also written a book on intraday trading called The Subtle Art of Intraday Trading in which I have explained 10 profitable intraday strategies which are back tested against 10 years of historical bank nifty data along with the results link is also given in the description so without wasting much time let's start मोस्ट ऑफ यू हैव सम आइडियाज अबाउट प्राइज एक्शन बहुत सारे लोगों को प्राइज एक्शन के बारे में कुछ तो कुछ आइडियाज रहता है ना सो बेस्ड ऑन दैट आइडियाज टेल मी विल यू टेक ए लॉन्ग ट्रेड इयर जस्ट थिंक इन यूर माइंड यू डोंट हैव टू पिंग आर यू डोंट हैव टू यू नो स्पीक नो जस्ट थिंक विल यू टेक ए लॉन्ग ट्रेड इयर आई विल गिव यू फाइव सेकेंड्स टाइम ओके so some of you might have uh, thought that you would have taken a long trade here some of you thought that you know probably you would have avoided a long trade here but this is the result can you see what happened to the result now just think if you would have thought to take a long trade aap idhar long trade le rahe ho to what would have been the result it had been a loss right it is a loss loss ho sakta tha so abhi one more example just observe this chart very very carefully the price is in uptrend the price uptrend pe hai and there is a resistance line ye resistance line hai price opened above the resistance line and uh, you know it sustained above the resistance line and there is a uh, you know kind of hammer here now it is bullish candle here so will you take a long trade here just think in your mind okay so some of you might have taken a long trade some of you might have avoided the long trade but look at the result so this is the result if you have taken a long trade here can you see what would have happened to your result a big loss hai na okay so i will give you one more example this is also a very simple example see this is a uh, previous day high and this is also the resistance line which is also day before yesterday's high and now price breaking that resistance line so will you take a long trade here is tarah confusion bahut sare logo ko hota rehta hai you know whether to take a trade or not whether it is a breakout or not this is one more example just think will you take a long trade from here five seconds time okay see this is the result so from the previous two examples or from the experience of previous two examples if you would have avoided a long trade here the price would have gone upside right this kind of experience happens to many many retail traders bahut sare logo ko is tarah experience hota rehta hai hamesha and because of this experience uh, they will be they will not be able to take proper trades or you know they have less confidence while taking the trades so whatever the trades they take they turn into losses if they don't take the trades now they will then they would have given more profits so with this kind of confusion people uh, you know uh, go through with a lot of stress and a uh, lot of uh, lack of clarity so if you had a clarity here whether to take a long trade or not it would have given a lot of uh, value to your trading strategy right so what we do is i will explain certain concept and definitely we will come back to these questions at the end and i'm 100% sure that you will be able to answer these questions properly and how did you or how did i come to uh, uh, how did i arrive at that conclusion okay so let's begin a small disclaimer this information is only for educational purposes and you have, you have to back test all the ideas or strategies before taking trades in the live market 
सो नाउ प्राइज एक्शन सो वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ प्राइज एक्शन प्राइज एक्शन का मतलब क्या है सो द जनरल डेफिनेशन ऑफ प्राइज एक्शन इज टेकिंग ट्रेड यूजिंग ओनली प्राइज एंड वॉल्यूम सिर्फ प्राइज और वॉल्यूम यूज कर कर ट्रेड लेने के कॉन्सेप्ट को प्राइज एक्शन ट्रेडिंग कहते हैं सो विद वी डोंट यूज एनी इंडिकेटर्स इन प्राइज एक्शन राइट दैट इज द लॉजिक नाउ अगेन वॉट आर द कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ प्राइज एक्शन बहुत सारे लोग बहुत सारे कॉम्पोनेंट्स को प्राइज एक्शन कहते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल सम पीपल से सपोर्ट एंड रेजिस्टेंस आर द पार्ट ऑफ प्राइज एक्शन कुछ लोग कहते हैं सिर्फ डाउट एरिया हाइयर आई हाइयर लो इज द पार्ट ऑफ प्राइज एक्शन सम पीपल कहते हैं मार्केट स्ट्रक्चर लाइक एक्यूमुलेशन और डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज ओनली द पार्ट ऑफ प्राइज एक्शन एंड सम पीपल से यू नो वी शुड कंबाइन बोथ सपोर्ट एंड रेजिस्टेंस एंड डाउट एरिया आर सम पीपल से यू शुड कंबाइन सपोर्ट एंड रेजिस्टेंस मार्केट स्ट्रक्चर some people say you know the, you can include candlestick for patterns or candlestick formations in the as part of the price action so there is a lot of debate and discussions will always happen but my point is simple you know which one combination is right you know this is always a debatable topic so you don't have to worry about it but uh, you should realize one thing all the path leads to profits this should be your aim which means making profits in the market should be your sole aim and these are all different paths for example this is dow theory path this is uh, uh, support and resistance path this is different path so whatever the paths you use you should keep this in your mind aur aapka target hamesha idhar hona chahiye so for example if this is dow theory you can use dow theory then you should pick the right one to reach here you should not pick the wrong one or you should not use any another concept in a wrong manner to go down right so that is the most important part you should you should aim to reach the top you should so in the market also as part of the price action your aim should be to make profits in the market okay so now uh, uh, is as part of this presentation i'm explaining price acceptance and price rejection so aap puch sakte ho why only price acceptance and price rejection the answer is very very simple these are all again these two the price acceptance and price rejection are the two powerful uh, uh, combination which can be used in all part of price action for example you can use these two topics in support and resistance you can use these two topics in uh, market structure you can use this topic in dow theory also so this is very very helpful in all type of price action concepts so that is the reason i'm explaining price action and rejection concept today and friends please note this is a very very powerful uh, uh, technique or strategy you should use it in a very very careful manner so now uh, uh, i will start with a small introduction okay for example from here to here this is 16th january uh, data so this is a day high so this is day high 22125 this is day low i mean the line is little low i said but So okay, you just consider twenty one nine point eight as day low. So this is day high, or this day low here. So what this indicates? Just think in your mind what this indicates. Okay. So what this indicates is this number twenty two one two five. This zone belongs to sellers. In simple words, on this particular day, this is the price level twenty two one two five is the price level. where last buyer found so is price level pe last buyer tha uske upar buyer nahi tha isliye price niche aa gaya na so that is the logic similarly here you know it's little downside you can consider 21958 as day slow so is level pe last seller tha isko isko niche seller nahi tha sirf buyers tha so that means this zone belongs to sellers i hope this is very clear now aage badhte hain now a simple the same thing i'm asking here why price bounced from this level just think in your mind okay i will give you the answer see for example from here to this is a 50 minute chart from here to here one day and here to here another day this is 16 jan this is one day before the 16 jan see here this is the low made so what it means is on this particular day this is the place where the last seller found and this is the place where the last buyer has found which means market 330 ko close hota hai na market will close at 330 and on the next day if the price opens within the same range 
and very close to the previous day close which means from 3:30 previous day till today 9:15 there is no significant change happened in the world market or in the world that is why price opening very close to that level right main aur ek bar repeat karta hu so from 3:30 se aaj subah 9:15 tak there is no significant change happened in the world market or in the world that is why price uh, previous day close ke paas open ho raha hai this is the concept so if you think this is true then the same level and this two level will also act as a resistance and support right because the market sentiment ab tak same hai so if we assume it will remain same till the end of the day which means you know none of the country will put bomb on another country or there is no earthquake or there is no announcement from any finance minister or rbi fed if if there is no uh, the such kind of events then the same level can act as a resistance and the same level can act as a support so that is a simple logic because this zone belongs to buyers and this zone belongs to sellers so that's what happened on that particular day this is no rocket science pe kuch bada science nahi hai so you should understand this now now you answer this now you have little bit of idea abhi aapko kuch idea hai so ye uh, resistance bhi ho sakta hai resistance line bhi ho sakta hai ये यू नो प्रीवियस डे टू डेज हाई भी हो सकता है हाई भी है सो इधर इट्स वेरी सिंपल व्हाट सेलर्स आर डूइंग एट दिस लेवल क्योंकि ये लेवल है ना ये दो दिन का हाई है दो दिन का हाई है रेजिस्टेंस लाइन भी है सो इस इसको सेलर क्या करना चाहिए था जस्ट थिंक फॉर वन मिनट वन सेकेंड टू सेकेंड ओके आई डोंट नो वेदर यू गॉट इट आर नॉट आई विल एक्सप्लेन सी हियर the sellers are strong this zone belongs to sellers so his action should push the price gradually to the low of this at least we should expect a bounce from the low but just observe what happened in the first candle itself in the first candle itself 50% this week is buying hai na so which means in the first candle itself market open hone ke baad this is an attractive opportunity for sellers फिर भी 50% परसेंट बइंग आ रहा है फर्स्ट कैंडल में ओके सो विच मीन सेलर्स आर फेलिंग फिफ्टी परसेंट इन द फर्स्ट कैंडल इट सेल्फ और पूरा इधर तक सो इट्स ऑलमोस्ट वन थर्टी टू सो इधर तक सेलर्स का एक्शन प्राइस को नीचे पुश नहीं कर रहा है ना सो विच मीन्स सेलर्स एक्शन इज नॉट पुशिंग द प्राइस डाउन साइड बिलो दिस सो विच मीन्स क्या हो सकता है देर इज ओनली टू पॉसिबिलिटीज प्राइस कैन कंटिन्यू लाइक दिस फुल complete sideways for the rest of the day or price can go upside hai na yahi dono possibility hai niche jaane ka chances to nahi hai kyunki it should have gone here itself or it should have gone here itself so till 1:30 o'clock there is no necessity to to wait uh, to move price upside right i mean downside right so this is the logic you can see the result here okay it's very simple isko kehte hai hum price acceptance which means there is an important price level so instead of going in the opposite direction price accept ho raha hai us level pe which means there is a high possibility of price going or breaking that level so this comp this is called as price acceptance i hope this is very clear now one more simple example aap soch lijiye this is previous day low as i said in the previous webinars previous day high previous day low plays a very 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 crucial role in intraday trading you must know about it so this is previous day low aur idhar se buy aa gaya lekin lekin soch lijiye it is very similar to previous example buying power is not sufficient enough to push the price till the previous day high right see price jaa nahi jaa nahi it's it's not going right it's not going anywhere it is going sideways here सो so, ये प्रीवियस डे लो के ऊपर ये कंसोलिडेशन हो रहा है ये प्राइस एक्सेप्टेंस है ना सो व्हाट बायर्स आर डूइंग हियर बायर्स नहीं है अदरवाइज बायर्स स्ट्रेंथ इज नॉट सफिशिएंट इनफ टू पुश द प्राइस टिल हियर राइट सो अगेन दिस इज अ प्राइस एक्सेप्टेंस सो प्राइस नीचे जाने का चांसेस ज्यादा रहता है सो बायर्स आई मीन बायर्स आर बाइंग देयर स्टॉप लॉस विल बी बिलो दिस but their strength is not enough 
और सफिशियंट एनफ टू पुश द प्राइस अपसाइड सो ब्रेक हो गया तो इसको नीचे प्राइस आ गया तो वो सभी बयर्स का स्टॉप लॉस हिट हो जाता है सी दिस इज द रिजल्ट सो दिस दिस इज हाउ द प्राइस एक्सेप्टेंस इज वेरी वेरी पावरफुल एंड आगे बढ़ते हैं आई मीन इट्स द सेम थिंग दिस इज प्राइस एक्सेप्टेंस नाउ डू यू रिमेंबर आई आस्क थ्री क्वेश्चन राइट एट द बिगिनिंग मैंने तीन क्वेश्चन को पूछा आपको सो एट द बिगिनिंग पे सो इफ यू रिमेंबर वेरी क्लियरली आई विल रिकॉल दो स्लाइड्स यू थिंक नाउ सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई आस्ट विल यू टेक ए लॉन्ग ट्रेड इयर अभी एक बार सोच लीजिए ये प्रीवियस डे लो है प्राइस प्रीवियस डे हाई के पास ओपन हो गया बट इट इज ए क्लियर रिजेक्शन प्राइस फेल टू सस्टेन ए बो प्रीवियस डे हाई एंड इट केम डाउन इट केम डाउन प्रीवियस डे लो सो इफ द बयर्स आर बिकॉज दिस वन बिलोंग्स टू वे बयर्स साइड इफ द बयर्स आर रियली पावरफुल दे शुड कम इमीडिएटली एंड दे शुड पुश द प्राइस इमीडिएटली टिल हियर स्ट्रॉन्ग वी शुड शी वी शुड सी द स्ट्रॉन्ग रिजेक्शन बट बयर्स आर एबसेंट इट स्टार्टेड शोइंग द एक्सेप्टेंस यू नो दिस इज नॉट सफिशियंट एक्चुअली is they should break this high the candle broke the previous day you know immediately they should break at least the high of this candle but see where are them where are the buyers buyers nahi hai so this is the result okay so i will take i'll go to the second question again the second question it appears like it is a strong uptrend resistance break ho gaya accept ho gaya everything is very clear but dhyan se dekh lijiye see this very carefully even though it look like a pin bar or hammer but just see this is not sufficient enough see is is i mean whatever the candle it may be if if that is really a strong buying candle that should break the high of this candle if that candle doesn't break the high of that candle at least the next candle should break see but what happened is that ye candle to fail ho gaya is high ko break karne ke liye our next candle doji hai so the next candle is doji so which means it started showing the characteristics of price acceptance dekho idhar kya ho gaya i mean the same result niche chala gaya na it showed the price acceptance and then it came down so i will take question 3 example abhi dhyan se dekh lijiye i said this is the previous day this is also the two days high so this is also become a resistance line abhi dekh lijiye from here to here don't you think this is a price acceptance सो प्राइस एक्सेप्टेंस हो रहा है रेजिस्टेंस लाइन के पीछे सो प्राइस ऊपर जाने का चांसेस ज्यादा रहता है और इधर भी देखिए इस कैंडल का क्लोजिंग बहुत बुलिश है देर इज वेरी वेरी लेस सेलिंग विक नेग्लिजिबल सेलिंग विक सो इधर से प्राइस ऊपर जाने का चांसेस ज्यादा रहता है सो दिस इज द रिजल्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन थ्री आई होप माई सिंपल एक्सप्लेनेशन एडेड Uh, or gave some clarity to your mind, especially related to price action and price acceptance and rejection. So, let's move on. Do you want more? <laughs> I'm sure uh, you want more at this point of time. So, let's take one step further. We go a little further as well. Now, again, a simple uh, uh, explanation. So, this is uh, you know a strong support zone. You know, which acted as a support couple of times on two three days. Now, Abhi. The candle is here. Will you take a long trade here? Can you take a long trade here? Okay. So just think in your mind. Two minutes. Two seconds. Okay. Uh, whatever the answer it may be, you now just think. You know what would have happened to your result. Now we'll go one by one. See in this candle, just observe the price pattern. Now listen to me very very carefully, friends. i am trying to integrate price acceptance and price rejection with other aspects of price action for example in this case mein main dow theory ke bare mein baat kar raha hu so this this support ke upar price has made only lower high hai na this is as compared to this high this is a lower high as compared to this high this is a lower high as compared to this is a lower high so price sirf lower high bana raha hai so which means this is bearish as part of dow theory okay next either price acceptance dikha raha hai so this zone belongs to buyers if the buyers are there and if the buyers are powerful if they have the energy they should push the price upside immediately 
उन लोगों का एनर्जी यू नो वो बाइंग एनर्जी प्राइस को ऊपर पुश करना चाहिए था लेकिन दैट डिडेंट हैपन ओके दैट इज वन मोर थिंग दिस इज प्राइस एक्सेप्टेंस नेक्स्ट इज सी स्ट्रांग सेलिंग विथ ओपन आई इन द लास्ट वेबिनार आई एक्सप्लेन अबाउट ओपन आई सो देखो इधर ओपन आई हो रहा है और फर्स्ट कैंडल पे तो देखो फर्स्ट कैंडल तो इट्स ओपन आई इट इज वेरी बियरिश बियरिश हो रहा है सो आई एम ट्राइंग टू कंबाइन थ्री थिंग्स डाउटियरी बियरिश है प्राइस एक्सेप्टेंस बियरिश है स्ट्रांग सेलिंग विथ ओपन आई इज बियरिश है सो बइंग हियर एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम इज ए क्राइम or it is foolishness decision or you have very, some you know random thought or uh, you would have shared your bullish view with other people and you want to defend your view so is tara attitude se aapka paisa chala jata hai you can't make money with this attitude you should listen to what price is saying price kya keh raha hai aapko sunna padega achhi tarah se ये देख लीजिए आई एम इंटीग्रेटिंग डाउटियरी एम प्राइस एक्सेप्टेंस बी एरिश है डाउटियरी बी एरिश है स्ट्रांग सेलिंग ओपन भी बी एरिश है सो इफ यू आर बाइंग हियर नो आई एम नथिंग टू से इट इज इट इज फुलिशनेस यू कैन सी द रिजल्ट देर इज नो पिक डील इन इट ओके सो नाउ वन मोर क्वेश्चन ओके इट्स वेरी सिंपल सोच लीजिए ये रेजिस्टेंस लाइन की तरह एक्ट हो गया था अभी प्राइस ब्रेक हो रहा है so tell me whether it is a price acceptance or rejection just think in your mind okay so this is price rejection kyunki ye dekhiye i mean you should usually what people does is they somehow they give more importance unconsciously to the green candle okay people will think about this green candle so green candle is fine but observe very very carefully aap achhi tarah se dekh lijiye Even this green candle has 30% selling wick. ये wick है ना ये buying नहीं है ये selling है okay this is selling wick. Even this candle has selling wick. Sellers are there even in this candle. अभी next candle को देख लीजिए ये break हो रहा है if if it is a genuine breakout seller should be absent at least if 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 it didn't go upside it should have started consolidating at this level. इस तरह नीचे जा आ गया तो इधर से देखिए इधर से इधर तक ये सेलिंग सेलर्स है इधर तक ये छोटा सा बइंग विक है सो इधर से इधर तक सेलर्स है विच मीन्स दिस इज अ प्राइस रिजेक्शन रेजिस्टेंस पे सेलर्स आ रहा है दट टू यू नो दे आर कमिंग वेरी स्ट्रांगली सो व्हाट दिस इंडिकेट्स इज प्राइस नीचे जाने का चांसेस ज्यादा रहता है सो इफ इट डिंट गो डाउन साइड इमिडिएटली definitely 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 it will go get into sideways mode kyunki this sellers hai na they will try to defend their position it will get into sideways mode and then it might go up ab is is tarah jagah pe options buying kar rahe ho to then you lose money because def- i mean call option buy kar rahe ho if the view is bullish you definitely lose money because price sideways jane ja, sideways jane ka chance zyada rehta hai even let's say you have taken a long trade which means you have bought call options इस तरह कैंडल दिखने के बाद आपको एग्जिट करना चाहिए कॉल ऑप्शन को क्योंकि इवन इफ यू कैरी दिस पोजिशन इवन इफ इट गोस इन टू साइडवेस यू लूज मनी ओके सो दिस टाइप ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट एंड क्लैरिटी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सी दिस इज द रिजल्ट नो देर इज नो डाउट अबाउट इट ओके सो अभी आगे बढ़ते हैं आई मीन अगेन दिस इज अ प्राइज रिजेक्शन एज आई सेट दिस इज अ प्राइज रिजेक्शन सो प्राइज वेंट द डाउन साइड देर इज नो डाउट अबाउट इट नाउ और एक एग्जाम्पल है दिस इज ए लाइव एग्जाम्पल आई शेयर ऑन माई टेलीग्राम चैनल एंड टेंथ जैम सो आप सोच लीजिए ये पहला कैंडल है दिस दिस फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर इट इज टेंथ जैम ये टेंथ जैम का फर्स्ट कैंडल है नाइन फिफ्टीन टू नाइन थर्टी ये सेकेंड कैंडल है नाइन थर्टी टू नाइन फोर्टी फाइव सो दिस इज प्राइज एक्सेप्टेंस और रिजेक्शन आई होप बाई दिस टाइम इट इज वेरी वेरी क्लियर फ्रेंड्स ये प्राइज रिजेक्शन है ना ये सपोर्ट लाइन था ये प्रीवियस डे लो था सो आई मीन प्रीवियस डे लो इधर था बट दिस इज अ वेरी स्ट्रांग सपोर्ट लाइन था प्राइस नीचे आ गया सो ऑन टेंथ जैन एट था ओपन कैंडल 9:15 टू 9:30 में बियरिश था ओके बट इमीडिएटली अराउंड 9:40 9:42 में बुलिश हो गया क्योंकि इस कैंडल रिजेक्शन इज वेरी क्लियर राइट ये पूरा स्ट्रांग बइंग है भाई इधर तक आ गया तो इस लेवल तक आ गया तो वो इट्स ऑल इट्स इट्स वेरी क्लियर दैट इज अ रिजेक्शन so you can see here i have shared this information 
अट नाइन फोर्टी टू में मुझे टाइम अभी भी याद है नाइन फोर्टी टू और नाइन फोर्टी थ्री कैंडल होने से पहले देखो ये दो कैंडल है ये कैंडल कंप्लीट होने से पहले आई टोल्ड वेरी क्लियर दैट प्राइस क्लियरली रिफ्यूज टू ट्रेड बिलो ट्वेंटी वन फाइव नाइट वन वो ट्वेंटी वन फाइव नाइट वन ए लेवल है देखिए ट्वेंटी वन फाइव नाइट वन ए लेवल है सो प्राइस फेल टू ट्रेड बिलो ट्वेंटी वन फाइव नाइट वन सो द व्यू चेंज नाउ मैं बियरिश था पहले टिल नाइन थर्टी तक मैं बियरिश था बट नाइन फोर्टी टू से इस कैंडल अभी देखो इधर It's not close date actually 942 941 so i will change my view and i said i will maintain sideways to bullish view for the rest of the day okay is tara flexibility uh, logo ko nahi aata hai let's say they have a bearish view so what they do is they carry their bearish view and they don't close their short trade ego rehta hai mujhe mera view right hona chahiye us tara ego carry karte hai सो so, इस तरह ईगो कैरी कर कर यू नो दे होल्ड द शॉर्ट ट्रेड ओके सो दैट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रेंड्स आपका सी माय माय सिंपल रिक्वेस्ट इज यू शुड ट्राई टू लूज योर ईगो इंस्टेड ऑफ लूजिंग योर मनी बिकॉज ईगो जनरेट करना और यू नो इंक्रीज करना बहुत आसान है लेकिन दुनिया में पैसा कमाना पैसा सेव करना पैसा इंक्रीज करना बहुत मुश्किल है so i always suggest you should ready to lose your ego than losing your money so people will struggle to get this kind of flexibility and they lose money okay so now we'll go ahead so this is where most important now before i uh, you know go to the questions i will just uh, see some of the charts okay and listen to me very very carefully friends this month is highly volatile the market and also uh, you know uh, i mean uh, this week especially it's highly volatile especially they opened the market on saturday there are so many things uh, so i will go from the previous thing okay from from at least one from ek mahine se pehle it's very very clear but still i go from here okay so you can see and you can decide see this is price rejection so that doesn't mean you know price didn't go up but at least it stayed sideways okay and uh, i should also remember one more thing friends previous day high and previous day low is very important but sometimes price op- you know it will open upside or downside okay which means uh, you know that that's called as initiative trade opportunity market profile world but for time being just you know think price opens above or below the previous day range in that means uh, you know if the price didn't come near previous day high or previous day low then you should take ib range which means one hour high low as the reference point so in this case uh, for, okay you just think that point in your mind then we can see everything see here in this case ye previous day high tha ye previous day high tha so the same high acted as i be low see this is how the the levels plays a very important role and here uh, it it look like the price will go down but immediately this is a price rejection if we didn't had the, i mean we should uh, if even if you had taken a long trade probably we wouldn't have made more profits but still you know we don't make more loss by carrying the short trade so that's where this price action and price acceptance rejections ka clarity is very very important and again uh, here to uh, see here this is this is very very important thing uh, i mean why uh, we need to follow the money management rules isliye ye chart bahut important hai is tarah exceptions bhi market pe hota rehta hai and this month january is exceptional month for high volatility and high random moves okay so my suggestion is if you have not lost the money in january month are if you have lost only less than 5% of your capital on january month then you are a achiever you are a winner actually in my opinion okay see here what happened was this is uh, i mean previous day high previous day low is not very close it's here and here so we can take high b high i b low it's exactly inside so this is i b high four candle because we are in 50 minute chart main isko open kar leta hu pick pen ko okay see friends this is high b high and this is high b low hai na so idhar dekh lijiye it appeared like a good breakout right kyunki selling week bhi bahut kam tha it, it appeared like it went upside but 
and it also showed price acceptance actually till here it also showed price acceptance so most of price action traders anticipated a rally from here in the second half but unfortunately price fell so these kind of things also happens in the market that is why we should follow proper uh, stop loss that is mandatory if you are not placing a stop loss means it is a crime okay so there is no excuse for it so we should follow stop loss and then money management also if the price comes back and hits your stop loss you should lose only maximum 2 to 3% of your capital if you lose 50% of capital or 25% of capital or even 10% of capital at this point of time then you know you will not survive in the market that's very important so we'll go little behind okay see this is very clear again this is previous day high uh, this is previous day high price opened exactly here this zone belongs to sellers right this zone belongs to sellers so sellers entered and uh, you know this candle high they didn't break right you know price started showing the acceptance i mean first candle pe to reaction is very clear then baad mein it is clear and it went down side so from here buyers aaya it went a little bit upside but again sellers defended this level okay so is tarah price acceptance and price reaction so read kar sakte hain uh, we'll go a little bit uh, little more okay see here friend this is previous day high hai na ये देखिए ये प्रीवियस डे हाई है एंड डू यू डोंट यू थिंक दिस इज प्राइस एक्सेप्टेंस देखिए इधर प्राइस एक्सेप्टेंस दिखा रहा है सो विच मींस देयर इज अ हाई पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ प्राइस ब्रेकिंग दिस साइड सो प्राइस ओपन हो गया लास्ट वर्क आई मीन मीटिंग पे मैं बोला था दिस इज प्राइस आई मीन ओपन टेस्ट ड्राइव अप पे ना सो दिस इज प्रीवियस डे हाई प्राइस इसके ऊपर ओपन हो गया इट केम बैक इट टेस्टेड it went up and closed upside so this is open test drive up okay i told you open test drive up is bullish you can see acceptance is bullish and here also one more ye isko compare kiya to ye higher i mean higher low hai na aur isko compare kiya to ye lower i mean higher low hai na so dow theory is saying it is bullish price acceptance is saying it is bullish or open first candle is bullish so if you think to take short trade right here then it's it shows that uh, price, your transaction trading skills is not really up to the mark you have to improve okay again i will go a little bit upside uh again see this is okay this is previous day high okay this is previous day high but if you i mean we should we should see very very carefully mai bolta hu price previous day high previous day low is very important fir bhi aap इसको कंपेयर किया तो इस 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 दिन को अच्छी तरह से देख लिया तो सी देर इज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग सेलर हियर एंड देर इज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग सेलर हियर सो प्रीवियस डेज हाई इज डेफिनेटली इंपॉर्टेंट बट दिस हाई इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके फॉर द नेक्स्ट डे सी कैन यू सी प्राइज एक्सेप्टेंस इट शोड एक्सेप्टेंस बट इट फेल टू स्टे और स्टे एबो दिस सो इफ यू थिंक दिस इज एज अ ब्रेकआउट कैंडल so the next candle should be a big breakout candle okay and on the upside but either be resistance hai either be resistance hai aur price struggle kar raha hai upar jaane ke liye then it it formed a bearish candle it is also like a bearish arm the price close below then it's gone okay this is how we can read uh we'll, we'll take few more example mm, for example either be dekh lijiye so either be dekh lijiye so this is this is uh previous day high i mean not this this is previous day high this is completely price acceptance next day price open ho gaya this is uh, open test drive up this is bullish this is bullish is a dow theory zyada nahi hai but ek swing i mean this is as compared to this low this is a higher low ek level pe 50% even dow theory is bullish so price gone up and the same level acted as i mean the similar level acted as support again uh aage badhte hain we'll take few more example i mean sorry okay isko dekh lijiye this is also very pretty straight forward this is previous day high okay so this is previous day high uh, i mean this is kind of volatile market but still you no know, it it opened this candle this is where uh, See, this is this is this is previous day high. 
सो दिस इज वेर इट अपियर लाइक ए वेरी गुड ब्रेकआउट कैटल क्योंकि देर इज नो सेलिंग विक एंड अगेन इट देर इज अटल बिट ऑफ प्राइस एक्सेप्टेंस यार प्राइस कंसल्टेशन एंड ट्रेंड भी यू नो ज्यादा ऊपर था सो वी थॉट दट प्राइज विल गो अपसेट फ्रॉम यर बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली प्राइज के बैक दिस इज फेल्यूर ऑफ प्राइज एक्सेप्टेंस फेल्यूर ऑफ एवरी थिंग विथ पॉजिटिव uh uh maybe i would have studied a chart or nifty or bank nifty or rsi stock i would have explained only the positive uh, results okay but is tara positive results explain karne ke baad uh, you get into that over confident mode and next day you will take only uh, you know you bet more you you risk more so that is the reason i will try to i mean i will i will show the live chart and explain as it is because uh, you will also have that fear in your mind and you should uh follow it proper i mean you should study it carefully before taking the trade okay so idhar dekh lijiye aur ek example hai ye previous day high hai somewhere this level is previous day high so price open above previous day high but it is not going up right it is not going up this is this is price acceptance below previous day high okay so uh, you know there is no strength right so this is uh, complete price acceptance तो इस लो को ब्रेक ब्रेक होने के बाद देखो क्या हो गया सो दिस इज हाउ वी शुड यूज प्राइस एक्सेप्टेंस आई विल शो फ्यू मोर एग्जांपल्स ये भी रिजेक्शन है ये प्राइस एक्सेप्टेंस है ये प्राइस रिजेक्शन है ये प्राइस रिजेक्शन है दिस इज प्राइस रिजेक्शन सी आई टोल्ड यू राइट you know just few minutes back i was saying if the price opens above the previous high for example this is previous day high This is previous level. If the price opens above that uh, level, uh, I B high, I B low, which means the high and low level of one hour plays a very crucial role. So which means this is I B high and this is I B low. Okay, so this is I B high, na, and this is I B low. So price went up above I B high, but they go scandal. Me, what happened? Clear cut off rejection, right? So if you even if you are taking a long trade here or here, you should have trial. Let's say you are taking a long trade here. You should trial the stop loss to the low of this candle, right? Because if the logic is correct, price should not come back and break this level. If they are coming back, means no, no buying, no, no, no rejection. No. So even if you are taken here, this candle, after seeing, you should change your view. Or this candle, either trade start, ho gaya to, you should you should change your view. Your view change should be changed. that is very very important that you should give up that rigidness okay don't go behind the ego or uh, few more examples a rejection a previous day high so we can maintain only sideways to bearish view that happened actually so a price acceptance hai uh, no this kind of gaps is little tricky you should always little gap is always acceptable but when the price opens with a big gap it's always tricky because profit booking bhi ho sakta hai so this candle the first candle displayed uh, you know the buying then it went into sideways mode again this is see price acceptance you know then ye upar chala gaya see before i mean i think on that particular day i was bullish just before the market open itself because of this price acceptance main price acceptance ko dekha then i maintain that bullish view unfortunately price is tarah gap up open ho gaya to इधर लॉन्ग ट्रेड लेना थोड़ा चैलेंजिंग है दट इट्स इट्स ए गेम ऑफ एवरी इंटरनेट ट्रेडर वी शुड फॉलो प्रॉपर मनी मैनेजमेंट रूल्स एंड नो लेस क्वांटिटी पे हम ट्रेड ले सकते हैं इस तरह आई होप यू गॉट मोर क्लैरिटी अबाउट प्राइस एक्सेप्टेंस एंड प्राइस रिजेक्शन